it's the time to get down. Good morning. better man <laughs> i know it wore you out oh let me first do this it's a Thank special, you. special day special day you guys and I, i'm gonna get my camera hooked up because it's kind of leaning on me down so don't worry about it because they're here to see you man and i got my back up here so hey i want to sit back and say this special day celebration of life colby it's going on right now we're going to keep you updated we may even steal a few shots in the meantime, man, you're looking sharp. Well, thank you, my brother. Everybody yeah, give it up for my partner, Crime Victor Be Allen. right back. The gifted, multi-talented, the brother over there working three video switchers. I designed this rocket ship, but he is the brother who drives it live on the air. Who else works three switchers while being live on the air other than Victor Allen? Give it up, everybody, for the man. 
trying, man. I'm trying. I'm gonna have to do some loose, loose. Is it fixed? Is it? No, nah, no, nah, cause it's tight. Don't worry about it, man. Because I got my back up. <laughs> see, I got. See, I got my B plan, so I'm good, man. They said we actually don't want to see your face anyway. We just show us the back of your head. You know. Well, that's the thing, you guys. We're back for a new season. As always, there's always something that's going wrong. You know, it's just like the Windows updates. And I gotta tell you guys, first of all, thank you, thank you. It's great to be back. It's great to be here after. All that time off. Yeah. Man, let me give you, okay, so let me give you guys the, the short version. So, you know, your boy, as we get older, we tend to encounter some physical ailments. Most of us, you know, there's always some shit that everybody runs into. And so I, I've been running into mine. And, you know, everybody's going to say, Mario, you look great, you look great. Hey, Six surgeries in three wow. years. Wow, man. Six surgeries in three years. And, you know, but all corrective shit. You know, in other words, I'm bionic. You know, they can make it better. <laughs> so this last time I had a hernia repair, you guys. And let's put it like this. Because, I, you know, as a pediatrician, I took care of so many young folks with hernias and stuff like that. I totally underestimated my own uh, abilities, well, the, the, I totally underestimated the impact that having that hernia repair is going to have on me. And maybe because I took care of children for 30 years, but, you know, that, it wore my ass out. That's how you know you're getting older. You know, that is how you know you're getting older because shit gets hurt and it doesn't recover in quite the same. And then I got a uh, cold after that, so that lasted me three weeks, so I'm just saying it's good to be back with you all. Good to be back. Where's my, I got to bring my... That's what I tell you. I tell you we're rusty dust, you guys. And it's good. It's so technically, technically, this is the winter season. I know you guys not may not realize it, but this is actually the winter season. I can verify that. Alexa. Thank you, Alexa. When is spring? In the United States... Spring begins on Friday, March 20th, 2020. Okay, so, you know, spring is coming up, and this is still the winter season. And, you know, technically, we're finishing up the winter season, even though, well, <laughs> we're minute. starting the winter season. Right, right. What are we finishing, man? What are we finishing? Oh, hell, hell. I'm just trying to help I you out, man. I know what we're doing. Yeah. If this is our most ambitious, tell them, this is our most ambitious undertaking Well, they don't, years. They, well, you know what it is? The part is they say prove it. See, I'm, I'm, I'm just going like this. They're going, what you want me to do, wait? Oh, I see. Y'all, you, you waiting, got secrets? <laughs> well, we got, we got stuff to show you guys. <laughs> yeah, that, there you go, bro. So, so, new, so, no, so that's the whole thing. Because, because of new opportunities, thanks to people like you at Facebook and our fans, because of new opportunities and new deba- demands, we, you know, we need to get out more shows for our subsidiaries and for folks like Amazon. For those of you who do know, you can find us on Amazon Prime. So you can go and watch us on Amazon. You can also watch us on Roku. Pakistan is on the Roku. We have our own Roku channel. In fact, we have a number of Roku channels, uh, and they're all out there. And so for Amazon, so we got more stuff coming. So first of all, that's the good thing. More stuff coming. You know, so, okay, so the kind of stuff's okay. So it's coming up. (laughs) Coming up. Tomorrow, Tuesday, is going to be the premiere of our new show, Real Men Talk. Sometimes. Real Men Talk. Sometimes. Yes, well, sometimes. There we, you go. We're figuring it out. <laughs> sometimes. Dick and I are figuring it out. And hey, so this is, this is on demand because, okay, it's, it's two brothers. Vic, they want to hear from you. They're, they want to hear from me. No, they, you know what they want to hear? The what? truth. They want to hear the truth, man. That's all they want to hear is the truth. Give us, you know, don't give us no philosophy. Give us the real talk. Well, give me tell you what. So the first, okay, so the tomorrow's show, which is going to be at 7, between 7 to 8 p.m., Real Men, Real Men Talk, first, first episode, and we're going to be basically covering questions women have always wanted to ask men. Do Tune in. It's going to be something else. Do the men have the answers? 
Well, you, this, <laughs> that's you. That's us. All right. All right. All right so then what I did is I went online and I looked, I did a search and I got a number of articles about questions women have always wanted to ask men from a variety of sources, from like a feminist organization, okay, from more of a young folks group, uh, also some other people. So I got a bunch of different people. It's funny. If you could Google it yourself. Questions women always wanted to ask men. And I would encourage you, because if you have questions, tune into the show and ask us live. That's tomorrow. So we did. I did a look, questions women always wanted to ask men. And we're going to be doing that for the premiere episode. Now, I'll give you one little hint. Vic, you may think this is a little funny, too. What is that? The, what I tried to do is look at all the different sources, right? Right. And see the questions that they had in common. And one of the questions they had in common throughout all the sites was that the women wanted to know why men spend so much time in the toilet. So, so are you going to be ready to answer oh, that one? That's easy. <laughs> Getting away from that, your that's, ass. That's, no, that's, no, a, no. that's easy for me, man. <laughs> and so, that's one of the you can believe it or not. That is one of the common, one of the most common questions, and the other kinds of questions that I thought were hilarious because I had my own ideas of the questions, but after reading these questions, I threw mine all out. They were asking like, how do we not? How do we? Are we able to to run with that penis between our legs? They also asked us, did we sit on our, they want to know if we sat on your testicles. <laughs> These are common questions women wanted to ask men. So that'll be tomorrow, <laughs> premiere episode, 7 p.m. There you go. <laughs> Real Men Talk. Mm. Got a bunch of other things coming up. Some of the other episodes that we're planning, and we'll let you know exactly. I'm going to, we're going to be doing a whole review on the coronavirus this week. We're going to touch on that today during the news segment of uh, Morning Coffee, but we're going to be devoting a full show this week to discussions of the coronavirus and its implications uh, worldwide. So look for that. Right now we have that tentatively scheduled for the Thursday show, Vic. Okay. The uh, coronavirus. All right. Uh, 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 dealing with the coronavirus. Sounds good. A bunch of things. So we'll let you know. But uh, So that's what's coming for this week. Also, Friday night... Quiet Storm premiere episode. We're going to be jamming old school R&B interactive DJ experience. Come on and do that and get with that. You're going to have to remind them multiple times so they don't come on Tuesday night <laughs> looking for the music. Come on, we're going to send it out. I'm going to be posting. <laughs> right. I'll be posting. That's right, man. I'll be Instagramming and posting. It moved. It moved. And putting all those things. Hey, so Vic, so, you know, you've been, we've been getting a lot of, of input from your people, uh, you know, basically over your Black History Month oh, good. series, which has been, good. give it up for Vic. Thank you, man. Tell them a little bit about the Black History Month series, Vic. Um, how it started is real simple. Um, you know, I wasn't trying to say, hey, it's Black History Month. Oh, I got to do it. Um I knew there was a lot more history than the kind of the more popular stories you hear. And so I made a promise that every day of the month, and that's really not as much as I could do, that while I'm looking through history just for myself, I'll just post what I come across. So some of you may know, some you may not, but there's always this underselling of history in a lot of different areas that are not as popular. You know, most of the popular areas in black history, people kind of know by heart um, and they know because typically they're promoted the same way in media and others. So I decided a few years ago to go every day. If I come across, oh, that's for me. Is that phone? Is that call for me? <laughs> that might be for me, man. <laughs> Let me check it out. Hold on. Technical difficulties. Tech man, did we disconnect that? See, that's what happens. We got a whole new virtual. We got we're a whole live. new. Uh, we're live right now. We <laughs> right. We're live right now. Now. Okay, put me on hold for a second. All right. Bye. 
Okay, back to what I was saying. <laughs> back, to, back to what I was saying. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Check it out. So uh, I made a promise every day if I come across a subject that I find interesting, because there are a whole bunch of them, I will post it. It's not there to sit back and say I'm a historian. I'm not doing it. This is really for me. And I said, why not share it? And so that's what I was doing. So, um, of course, it, it, it can go on for so long. It's only 28 or 29 days out of the month. Just a calendar year. This can go on for a, a long time. And, and, and try to go to stories that may not be as popular. So that's why I did it. Mom. So everybody tune in. Victor Allen's feature. We do it every year this time. Go take a look. He's posting it to Facebook. Vic, got to give it to you for that. Thank you, man. Hey, we got a full show today, right. you guys. Right. We got uh, news in the new segments. We got to talk. We haven't talked. There's been so much that's been going on. No need to re-report. We're going to really give our assessment of where we sit today in terms of the upcoming election, where we sit with Trump, who's currently emboldened, and as, 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 as the clock winds closer to the election. So we're going to talk a little bit about that today. In Marijuana for Dummies, we're going to let you know about more and more legalization that takes place all around the country and what it means worldwide as marijuana legalization becomes the topic, except for folks like Joe Biden, what can I say? <laughs> Vic, what about you? Uh, you know, the obvious thing is to, you know, c- kind of monitor right now because I'm pretty sure there's some unique stories going on at the Staples Center with the uh, Colby Memorial, Embryonic M- Memorial. So I'm, I'm going to touch upon that because you have to, out of respect, you know, like I said, I, I posted, you may not have been a Kobe fan, but you are a fan of life. And so for the most part, uh, you acknowledge and those others who lost their lives as well. So we're going to touch upon it and then go right to a question that I have. There are five principal Lakers who can be considered on the Mount Rushmore, but you have to leave one off. Who would that be? Uh, number two, uh, Lakers counter-strike the Clippers. One Morris is in Clipperland, and now the other Morris has been signed to the Lakers. So brothers don't have to go far to keep it in the fam. <laughs> <laughs> so that's cool. Um, also, right now the British are literally going, we are the heavyweight capital of the planet of the world. Because, of course, what happened with Dion. Deontay Wilder, who got destroyed by Tyson Fury, but then you got Anthony Joshua, who's from England as well. So right now, man, it seems like we're maybe second or third fiddle. That hasn't been the way. And is this one of the best times in boxing? And then, of course, the Milwaukee Bucks are going. You guys keep talking about the Clippers, the Lakers. We just reached the playoff spot faster than any team in NBA history. What about us? That'll be it for me right there, man. And on Hot Picks. Oh, this one. Oh, this one. I forgot. Oh. Rappers, entertainers, born rich. Which artist will be greater than Pops? If that. And some are wannabe and couldn't continue. So we're going to find the relative value. When you are born rich, do you know the difference of being without? Do you have a real raw hustle? We'll go to that next. All right. Remember, stay tuned for the full show. We got the news coming up, marijuana for dummies. Like Vic said, we got the sports segment and hot picks. Okay, Alexa, birthday update. There are no events scheduled for the next 30 days. (laughs) Alexa. Nobody's born. Birthday update. There's nothing scheduled for the next 30 days. You know, <laughs> see, this is what happens when you have this artificial intelligence. Alexa, give us the birthday update. The skill, birthday tracker can help you with that. Did you want to enable it? It's already, see, this one, it's already, <laughs> it's already, it's already, it's already, it's already, Alexa, Alexa. Alexa, (laughs) Alexa. I think she's on strike, man. Birthday update, bitch. Oh. Hmm. I have a few skills that can help. Oh Oh, no, you don't have a skill. FM. 
Alexa, what's the weather in View Park, California? Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding. <laughs> okay, so let's we'll come back to our artificial intelligence. Meanwhile, we always do the slideshow animations. The latest one was done while we were off. We went down to the Martin Luther King Parade, the Martin Luther King uh, birthday celebration right here near my house, right down the hill, in fact, and uh, we enjoyed it. Take a look at my slideshow animation from the recent Martin Luther King Day, and we'll be right back. It's like John about the heat. But, but. So 
Thanks out of body heat. Slide Joe, animation, Martin Luther King Day holiday. Right down from my house. Man, everybody was out there in the hood. So was I. <laughs> so was I. Thank you all for tuning in so far. It's been, let me stop. Well, there it goes, Vic. Stuff just doesn't. Come just, on. Just got to get Come used on. to it, man. That's all. No, it doesn't want to. Give, my give me back control. Give my shout outs. Alpha, Leonard Trotman. Definitely, man, I would check out the stuff you're sending over, Silly Tro. You know, I always got to represent those who always been our fam. So, hey, just let you know, I always see you guys. Yvonne Hobbs. My Howard University fellow alumni from Kentucky, thank you for your support online and everywhere. PMC is there. Thank you, my brother. Felicia Hill, Mac McAllister, the GNN from Port Town, Big Weenie in Port Townsend. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, um, ongoing developments here at Pack Stereo 2. I want you guys to know that Candace Renee Rice came by, and she is really itching to do uh, a show. And we've been talking about doing some different things, and uh, it looks kind of promising. We're talking about getting out around the city. You guys, I got some drone stuff, and I don't want to, you know, we don't want to get arrested. We are black. <laughs> you know how we are. We got there with drones. They go to all of a sudden... Three or four police cars come. So we're going to get out there with the drone under the right proper conditions and do some basic things with the drones. Now, not crazy stuff with the drones. We are dazzling urbanites, and therefore we know better than to send our drones flying out over the city. We're going to do some little drone stuff within, you know, a couple hundred feet or so, and that's what it's going to be. So just look for that to be coming, and we're going to have Candace doing some stuff out there with the drones. And also, we have some robot stuff that's coming with my new robot, Lumo. I know some of you may have heard about the new robot, Lumo. Vic, I don't know if you heard, Vic. Have you oh heard? yeah, yeah. No, I think it, I think no. It's been good. No, I think it's been good. I mean, you know what? I, I can't wait. Maybe one day we'll do what we call. A real simulation right out there they can see it enough so they can see it room is limited in here maybe not you know um, a special show but I think many people would, would enjoy seeing that uh, it can be stubborn it can I be, brought the robot right. out here but you know I know it's too much stuff last it, minute man. to run the stuff around and see the robot the robot it, the robots sometimes they do not act and you know, you know they robots, but they can make a mess. They can. Y'all don't know about robot mess. The robot mess is a different kind of mess, but it, it's out there. And you know, when you get out there with the robot mess, it'll either it'll just be stuff. Yeah. So and I, so the robot the robot is artificially intelligent, and it's getting more intelligent. I posted some little pieces of the robot, me and the robot uh, interacting. And it's getting there. It's getting there. It's getting there. It's just that, you know, um, it's not everything. You know, it's just not everything. And you guys, it's not what you think with the robot. They don't do everything you guys want them to do, you know. Right, so. right, absolutely. All right. Now, I want to also give it up. I don't know if you guys know this. Take a good look. Got to give it up to Nicola. See, go on Facebook, and she's Nikki Cole on Facebook. But my stylist, give it up for getting my head together. You know, getting rid of that gray and tightening up. Takes work to five hours in the chair. So I want you guys to know I'm dedicated to you. Five hours in the chair, and I put on a tie. And this is a lot of shit. <laughs> We're not even sleeping together. That's what you know. Give it up. I'm just saying, you know, I'm, I'm appreciating the work that some people have been going through, traditionally women, have been going through. You know, Vic, you know, puts a lot of Vic. I know you must put a lot of work into your head. <laughs> you know what, the way you're saying it, bro, 
It ain't coming off real good. I'm man. just saying. <laughs> it's not coming off real good. I put good. a lot of work into my head, both you know this what? one and the other stuff. I'm, I'm just, but I'm just saying, do you put a lot of work in your head? <laughs> I'm not camera switching, bro. Because see, I've learned something. I've learned something. People can grab GIFs, moments, audio moments, and then depending on how you respond, can really set you up. Now I'm delaying the camera switch. Now I get to address it. I take as much time as necessary. I mean, because that's what I said. We're gonna get some action shots. It's part of the video expansion. I was explaining this to Candace too. Candace Renee Rice, Yomin North from Florida. She's a producer and all that. But I was explaining to Candace the need to get our B-roll together, and we have to shoot video of you guys going about your daily duties. So I don't know what you do to your head, but we should get some video of that. Vic working on his head. <laughs> I'm going to let you enjoy this by yourself. See, we're Mario brushing his teeth, <laughs> you know, and all the wonderful things we do with handy wipes. So we're going to do all that. You're going to see wonderful expansion of the videos here at Pac Stereo. Now, y'all ready for some news? I know you, you, you ready? <laughs> 